Hello, today I have a uniform skirt and it's flare and uh, my customer want I do the hem up without cut any fabric from the bottom and the hem very big from here to here I can show you clearly yes so it's flare so when when you hem it up this one will stick out that's why we have to gather a little bit to make it the same the middle mark this is the left seams and side seam you make a mark at the middle when I do the hem I will match the middle with the middle the, I will match the seam with the seam now we start from the seam and the thread I make it long more than half when I start I lock a little bit okay I lock it and then I just uh, go forward and remember um, the needle go much as you can at rear to make the um, guard the ring um, look nicer okay okay I want to lay the thread left over like this because I will gather it later now I have another half and then I will do the same long thread uh, is longer than um, half of this half of the skirt so I do the same so I lock a little bit okay and then I go at rear much as I can okay at the end I don't lock lock it and a little bit thread left over for gathering okay now I go from the seam first I like in this case I don't like the 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 big round here I like the small round here because when I do hand stitching hem I don't want the thread stuck somehow in in this point length about here I mark already so now I pin and then I do one at the middle yeah before I mark this middle so I turn middle to middle I have the middle line here I do one more yep. and then this seam to this seam and then middle to middle this is one quarter and then you have some fabric left over here because it's flare and some fabric left over here if you don't do this step it's still okay 
but you have to press some plate down like this and in this case sometimes the the bottom of the hem is uh it's have point it's pointed somehow and now i pull it okay and when i pull it it it, it locked down very nicely so in this case i i, I can pin and then hem it I have a video to show you how to do this by sewing machine um, but this time I want to show you to do by hand okay I have one quarter already and I do a middle quarter yeah and again I gather a little bit when I feel it's enough I pin it Yes. So now I do other half over here. I pull it. Um, this skirt is not flare very much, so it's a little bit easy for you to do. And now I have another quarter now. When I hem it, I have to use the same color. Okay, I start from the seam to seam point. Draw up. So in this case, I don't want to do the strong one. I just do something um, light, simple, easy to take off. But... Um, the stitching is still very good. Okay. I do like that and then backward. Forward very little and then backward. Okay. Uh, during the hem, you can check the gathering again. So if you pin it carefully, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's more easy to do. When you see it uh, bubble a little bit like this by the gather, um, don't, don't worry too much about that. But when you finish, the seam must be... Um, the bottom seam must go with the top seam. That's the important thing. And when it crooked from the gathering, um, you just continue to do that. And then, I put, yeah, I'll show you again. Yeah. And for example, it's up a little bit like this. It's okay. We just do normal. And it's up a little bit. Here you can see. Don't don't worry about that. We do normal now. Okay, and at the end, I lock this. Um, I have another video. Uh, the skirt very flary, and um. I do it by sewing machine. Uh, please view the link below to see another way to do it. Um, please subscribe, like and share uh, my channel. Um, now we can take off the white stitching and we can take off the pin. You cut it. And then all the way will come off. Yeah. Because you just lock 
at at start you don't block at the end okay it's finished now thank you very much for your watching please don't forget to subscribe and like and share my channel thank you so much bye bye